child molestation and lesbians? Is there a connection? I say, of course, of course there is. You know, people ask me sometimes, and they used to ask all the time, how did you know, or why are you, um, or were you born this way? Now to the third question, was I born this way? I had an attraction to women so early on, from about six years old, but at the same time, I was molested um, by my uncle from the time I was five until I was 12 years old. So that's where it gets a little bit funky in that I can't really answer if I was born this way or if I was conditioned to be this way. I do remember having crushes on friends, but not knowing that it was crushes, just wanting to be near them and under them all the time. I remember having crushes on a couple of teachers, lots of people on TV, hell, some of Vanessa's friends on the Cosby show. Um, some of my other relatives, girlfriends and, you know, things. And um, so I don't really know. Now, do I believe that you can be born this way? Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes, I do believe that. However, in my circumstance, I really don't know. Um, with all that I have just said, it could be either way. Sometimes I wonder if I had never been molested, would I have this great love and passion for women? I don't know. I do know that I have absolutely no attraction sexually to men. Now, do I, can I see a man and say, oh, he's handsome? Yes, but that's as far as it goes. Well, I guess you're saying, but Nicole, you have had some interaction with men. You have two sons. Yes, I do. My first son was born when I was 15 years old. I got pregnant with him when I was 14 and gave birth to him when I was 15. My second son, I became pregnant with him when I was 19 or 18 and had him when I was 19. Now, mind you, throughout this whole time, you know, my, my teenage years, my junior high years, I surrounded myself with pretty pretty women pretty girls it it was it was something of comfort for me so but growing up i heard the word gay and um the bad words like homo and faggot but i really didn't know what that meant and because early on i had an attraction it was not a sexual attraction yet it was more of a just, I don't know, just the comfort. I can't really describe that feeling, but it wasn't sexual, so I really didn't know. You know, when you walk around today, um, I'm not sure about where you are, but where I am, you go into a store, you go into your local mall or whatnot, you see us everywhere as far as like the tomboyish lesbian, the flamboyant um gay guys they're everywhere but when i was growing up i didn't i didn't see that so there was nothing to for me to compare and say hmm what is that about is that what i am i just know that when i became pregnant with my youngest son i did not want to be touched at all by a man anymore it was clear to me and then I started feeling sexual feelings in my mind towards women. And at first I, I thought I was crazy because call me naive, but I still didn't know. I did not know. And then, you know, I thought, well, maybe I'm bisexual. But that thought was quickly diminished. Um, as I said, I 
no longer want anything to do with a man in that way. So when I was 19, I started having those sexual feelings and then I, I ignored them. I was like, oh, hell no. What is wrong with me? I cried. I prayed, you know, and I was actually able to push it in the back of my mind somewhere, bury it, you know, like I have done with some other things and situations. But then I turned 20, maybe 20 and a half, and the feelings came back triple, and they were so intense and strong. Now, keep in mind that when I say I was sexually molested, I had things done to me that adults do in the privacy of their own bedrooms. So very early on, that made me extremely sexual. Um, there was a point in time where I was very pr promiscuous. And so, I don't know, I just, I kind of thought I was a freak, but not in a good way, in a bad way. But you know, as I said, I couldn't push those feelings back. So I said, you know what, let me, let me, let me explore this. I think I owe it to myself to explore it because I keep trying to pray it away, um, talk it away amongst myself, and it's not going anywhere. Now, at 20 years old, almost 21 probably, I had my first experience with a woman, and I'm not going to go into detail, but let me just say it was something that I had been missing. I felt like I was home, if that makes sense. I felt complete, but I didn't want anybody to know. So I put on a show for just a little while. I had a pretend boyfriend that you know I would show to the world, but behind closed doors, I really wanted to be with and be in a relationship with a woman. Now, I don't know, fast forward a few years later and I was like, you know what? I've been in a foster home. Um, I didn't have my father in my life. People treated me like, a, like I had a disease anyway in my family. Like I was a black sheep um, due to my mother's mistakes. Who gives a fuck what people think? What, what have they ever done? for me? Why do I even feel like I owe them an explanation or that I need to pretend to be something that I am absolutely not? So I didn't come out the traditional way. Um, someone actually called all of my family members in a very mean, hateful way and told them that I was a dyke. And that's how I had to come out. I had to call my mother and explain to her. Um, how I felt, and she is my biggest fan. Let somebody say something about her baby. I am my mother's only child, and it has taken quite a few years for us to, to become what we are now, and I don't even look back when it comes to her because we're so close now, and she treats me like the only child that she should have treated me like growing up, but I forgive her, and it took a hell of a long time it took years because our relationship now is very brand new it's about five years old now but I don't think about you know everything that happened in the past or because I was able to talk to her and finally make her listen and get everything out you know in the past I would try and tell her how I feel and what I felt she did and it would be no no it didn't happen this way it didn't happen that way no no but finally she listened to me and now we are so solid, and mommy, I love you so much, and thank you. Um, I also found out as I got older that my family is diseased in that ancestral behavior was common in my family. I mean, the cousins played around, the, you know, everyone was touching everyone else, and I now see why so many people stayed away. So anyway, you guys, I am running out of time and I just want to know your thoughts on that. You know, is there a connection between child molestation and um, the gay community? So let me know your thoughts and please, if you have something negative,